The Compton Family Ice Arena plays host to its first game in over a month as Notre Dame returns home after the holiday break to battle their longtime rivals in Western Michigan. Gilbert takes over quickly from Alquist. He breaks in. He splits the defense. He goes right wing side. Fogarty scores! Good wrist shot right here on transition in the neutral zone. Dylan Malmquist was coming in. It got poked away ran right to Stephen Fogarty. And he puts that right underneath the bar on Lucas Hafner. Center point feed Ryan. Wrist shot. Scores! Off the glove of Hafner. Into the net. And Sam Hare gets his stick right on this. You see Lucas Hafner sees this shot from the point. There's not a lot of, there's no traffic in front of him. Hare is off to his side and as the shot's coming, Sam Hare comes out of nowhere and redirects that. Skates behind the net. Wrap around, throws it in front. Cook a couple of whacks at it. Osley is there. Puck loose. They score! They've outworked him, and then right here, Jack Jenkins takes it to the net, and they got a couple of whacks at it. Dawson Cook stays with it. None of the Western Michigan Broncos can knock at the Notre Dame forwards down in front of the net. Dawson Cook just hangs in there. He's whacking away. Lucas Hafner doing all he can, covering the low part of the net. Because Notre Dame put a lot of pressure on their defensemen, and they could not get any sort of transition game going. York the other way, right wing, skates in front, backhand shot, he scores! Bjork beat the defense with his speed. And you just see the speed that he possesses, takes it right to the net, right around the defenseman, shoot him in, and puts it upstairs on Lucas, Lucas Hafner. Gilbert, center of the zone, he'll take a shot, save made, oh, tic-tac-toe passing, Monquist shot blocked, rebound, scores! Five nothing in favor. Here in this hockey game, Dennis Gilbert gets the puck to the net. That's handled by Olsen. Then Malmquist had an open net, wasn't able to put it in. He shot it back right into Colin Wilson. As you see, he had the open cage. Thankfully, Andrew Ogilvy was able to corral the rebound and put it over Colin Olsen. Gilbert to Hurley, right point. Skates in, throws it right goal line to Polly. Sends it in front, tip, scores! Some great puck movement here by Notre Dame. Dennis Gilbert to Hurley, down low. And right there is Mario Lucia. He's able to put that home. He's got good stick position in the crease. Now Fogarty, bottom of the right circle, took a shot, save, rebound, Malmquist scores off the rebound. And the winger goes to the net. Malmquist wins it going forward and throws it over to Stephen Fogarty. A great save by Colin Olsen. He was the only one who was awake on the faceoff? Everybody else was sleeping. And then Dylan Malmquist is able to pick up the loose change right here. Great save by Olsen on Fogarty on a great feed by Dylan Malmquist. A set play off the faceoff. Western Michigan not alert. The Irish scored three in the first and four in the second. And many of the fans standing and applauding their fighting Irish. They've got a touchdown lead over the Broncos. As we head to the third period, 7-0 Irish, seven different goal scorers. Molino with speed over the line, goes left wing, puck ricochets away, comes right back to Molino. He shoots and the puck, gets by Peterson into the net, and there goes the shutout. And in the last three games, he has eight points, three goals, five assists, and he picks up his fourth in the last four games. As he enters the zone, a good job, he kicks it out, and then a good center lane drive. And then he's able to put this on net. It kind of bobbles over. And good night from Lefty Smith Rink. That's an Irish winner. The unbeaten streak is now up to seven games. The Irish are 5 0 oh, 2 in their last seven. They win the opener of a home and home against Western Michigan by a final score of 7 to 1. Same two teams at Lawson Ice Arena tomorrow night at 7.05.